Hi, this is Ron Tube today on the Hunter Call of Wild. We're on Yukon Valley and we're doing a bit of grey wolf hunting. That's right, I'm just checking to see if the train's coming. It does come across this railway and it can kill you. But we've got some grey wolves in front of us. I'm at one of my favourite tent locations for grey wolf. Hello, what's that? I think we've got a rear one over there. Um, yeah, I'm looking for diamond ones for Spring Creek Manor. I thought we'd come to Yukon Valley, have a break from the whitetail and see if we can find any of those a potential diamond grey wolf. So we'll shoot that with the 7mm. I just love this gun, it's really good. Um, and we've been looking for brand new trophies to fill up Spring Creek Manor. So if you've got any good suggestions for what I should be hunting, drop it in the comments and I'll try and make that happen. Now a lot of people struggle with wolves, especially grey wolves on Yukon Valley. I made a detailed guide about how to hunt them, so check that out if you want to see. Um, I've seen someone mention about showing my map. I do show my map in most of my videos, so you just have to watch through them carefully and I'll generally show you my location. I'll show you where we're hunting in a minute. But yeah, grey wolves aren't that hard to find once you put in a bit of time and effort to find where they are. And there's a few really good locations I like to hunt. Now we've got a group of about nine or 10 here and I think there's an egg white one, we'll shoot that. Now in Spring Creek Manor, I'm setting up a really nice part of my trophy room in the sort of bedroom i'm gonna have wolves all across the back sort of wall it's looking good already and but what i'm gonna do is hopefully if we can nail this other egg white we're gonna have all white wolves across the back and then i'm gonna try try and bag a super rare wolf for the main middle point above the bed that's that's the hope i thought i'd do something different in spring creek manor and that's what i'm trying to set up in my wolf room. Now in Saseki Swai Trophy Lodge, I've got a diamond bear room, and I'm gonna have a wolf room in Spring Creek Manor. I could have shot the egg white wolf there, but I'm just trying to figure out if they're gonna run off or come back. Sometimes if it's during their need zone times, they come back after they've calmed down a little bit. But these seem to be running off, so I'm not sure. But what they often do is they go over that way uh, there is a caribou over that way and there is another grey wolf maybe there's another group that's going maybe that's what that was doing it was hunting the caribou you can actually see wolves chasing animals sometimes if you look it I have sat and watched wolves chase a male moose through the forest at night on Yukon Valley it was really good you could see the moonlight shining down the wolves were dancing between the trees in the forest really intent on getting this moose and it was really detailed i have shown sort of similar footage with a lion on the hunger savannah as well where it was chasing a springbok but the springbok threw the lion it did a little shimmy through a bush and then went the opposite way it was really good to capture and i wish i'd have put up the uh, upload of the video footage of the wolves with a moose but it does happen i guarantee it does happen Right, let's see if we can nail this uh, egg white wolf. It's come back, it's settled down a bit. Boom, shouldn't have come back. <laughs> Seven millimeter is just so good. Now we need to work out how to get down to the wolf actually. Um, this may kill me if I drop off this bridge. It's quite a drop. The good tip is if you've got an ATV and you're on a bridge like this, you can just ramp off and it just normally lands on its wheels you don't really take any damage but I'm not on an ATV and I think I may jump down when it's a bit lower and where's the egg white wolf we'll drop down and collect that first I think I think we've got some more wolves coming this way and ah, this one's fleeing I think it might be part of that group I don't think it was from the other one but you never know other packs do merge especially when they're attacking you um, a lot of people have would have found this that you've got four or five and all of a sudden there's another ten come from and then you're surrounded and it's it can be over it just depends on which one to shoot if you do get attacked try and shoot the biggest one first because sometimes that will stop the attack if you shoot smaller ones the other ones will attack even more that's how it seems to work and um, this sort of like a hierarchy amongst them so if you shoot the biggest normally they'll flee and um, so that's a good way to save your life Will we be able to drop off this without dying? Let's see. Bloop. <gasps> nah, I didn't take that much. About half my energy. Right, so here's the egg white. Let's collect this. Now, as I was saying, I'm making a wolf room in Spring Creek Manor. So what we're trying to achieve is, I'm gonna have four 
white wolves on the back wall and then I'm gonna have a super rare wolf in the middle that's the hope anyway we might not achieve it but that's what I'm going for so let's have a look at this legendary grey wolf hopefully it's a diamond we'll put him near the wolf room uh, I've got a nice little trophy position where I think I'm gonna have him I used to have an albino mythical puma there so I've removed that and I'm gonna try and put the if it is a diamond grey wolf in that position that's what we're hoping for in here where is he we need to go after foxes actually I haven't got a diamond fox so that would be cool I've been after some of the smaller species like that like the the jackal the, the diamond jackal took six or seven months of hunting that every day before I got one but I did get one in the end same with the diamond coyote I got one of those so I need a diamond fox to complete the small sort of little animals right diamond grey wolf there you go 76.47 kilos 39.20 so you need 39 like a sort of puma or mountain lion to make diamond and we've got 39 20 so diamond gray wolf that's definitely going to go in spring creek manor that's nice to stick another trophy in there let's just show you on the map where we're hunting when i'm on yukon valley i mainly hunt in these two places where you can see the hunting pressure actually where i've been hunting for the last few days but the burnt forest the scorched forest is a really good area for wolves, I call that Wolf Lake because there's wolves all the way around it. You also find caribou and red fox and moose. This location is where we've just been hunting where my tent is near the railway line. And basically you hunt all around this sort of area as well. So these two locations are really good for grey wolf. So if you're struggling to find them, come here. You can hunt, I generally hunt in the morning or the afternoon. So 8 a.m. in the morning to about nine, in these sort of areas or 2 p.m. onwards and that's normally good for grey wolves I have got a detailed guide check that out I think you've already seen it we made a bad shot on that one look we hit it in this sort of back end it was a bit of an awkward shot no excuses it was a bad shot <laughs> right let's go to Spring Creek Manor and let's take a look at our new diamond to go in there like I said, I'm going to be upgrading this, so if you want to see me hunt anything, drop it in the comments. Now I was thinking about doing a bit of goose hunting as well, get some diamond geese to fill up some of these um, little trophy plaques as well. So we want diamond geese, we need diamond harlequins there to fix those. We've got diamond mallard before, so we replace that. I've got diamond grizzly bear up there, some diamond whitetail, piebald whitetail, some diamonds downstairs. But there's a lot of trophy plaques we haven't covered, so we're definitely going to work on a lot of this. Spring Creek Manor. Diamond Fallow there, there, Diamond Black Book. Now this is where we're going to put the Diamond Wolf. I used to have an albino mythical puma here, but we removed them and we're going to put a Diamond Grey Wolf there today. So that's what we've been mainly going for. There is small trophy plaques in there where we could put rabbits, lots of lower tier animals. So like I say, if you want me to hunt certain animals, smaller ones, drop in the comments what we could go for and uh, I'll try and make that happen and think about what we're going for next. Now I made a video in the last few days about a possible Easter egg. I've not seen any more clues yet or anyone mention what it could be apart from in my video comments. I don't think anyone's worked out what it is yet but it'll be interesting to see what it is and when it happens. Like I say, I think we might hear something by Easter about something new. Easter is a big time for games in general. New games often are announced or released during an Easter period, a sales period. So I think we may hear something about new content coming soon. So I think the hype will build, uh, the teasing will build, the Hunter team love teasing us. So I look forward to what's next. Like I say, if you think you know what's next or you've seen a tease or worked out what it might be, drop it in the comments or what you would like to see come next there's so many things people want I've seen over the comments and I've been reading them and responding to them in my previous video about what they want to see from vehicles to pheasants to new maps to all sorts you know what I mean uh, every kind of thing under the sun has been put in there and like I say it's very interesting what you are all think so like I say if you know what it is or you've worked out what it is or you found the Easter egg or the clue let me know basically there's supposed to be, supposedly, a, an Easter egg on social media on the Hunter channels. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what was suggested 
in the Hunter official streams. But that is where I want to put the super rare wolf when I get one. So we've got white wolves on the back and we're going to try and get a diamond super rare wolf above my headboard in the bedroom. That's what we're aiming for. So it's looking good. We've got lots of trophies to get. There's a diamond true rex fallow. So today I wasn't sure what I was going to hunt and I thought let's go Yukon Valley. We did some grey wolf hunting and we ended up with this beauty, this diamond grey wolf. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.